Today, we're going to share with you how to enjoy restaurants while optimizing your body's function and following our program. This is a topic where so many people really fail, and I, and I, I know the challenges because I remember when I was first starting out and following you know, a contest dieting stuff, I, I really just had to avoid all these social ex experiences. And then I looked at, well, I'm so missing out on life. How do I enter into a restaurant? How do I do my business meetings or how do I attend family gatherings in a way that's going to allow me? So I really worked on this really hard and we came up with a few things that worked for myself and it also worked for thousands and thousands of our clients. And recognize this, managing the restaurant strategy is a critical, critical component if you want to be successful over the long term and you want to do it in a way that's fun and exciting for you. So first thing that you want to do is before you go to a restaurant, so this is the before you go, before. Number one, if you can pick your restaurant, right? Pick a restaurant that has food that you can use. Pick a restaurant that, you, that, that makes sense to you. So for example, if you're a type of person that's doing a, you know, a high fat, uh, high protein diet, make sure that the restaurant so serves the kind of foods that you go to. If you're more like me, who likes vegetarian restaurants or vegetarian food, pick a restaurant that has things beforehand. And now today you can go online beforehand, order stuff, that sort of thing. Um, or you can check their menus to see if there's things on there that you can use. The next thing is, before you go, this is this is before you go. That's the first thing. So if you can, make sure the restaurant, you know, has what you want. Number two, before you go, make sure you're fully hydrated. Okay, I can't emphasize this enough. If you're not hydrated, the chances of you overeating at a restaurant is extremely high. And so many people, you know, they always bring water to the table but before you go the hour before you go you want to be drinking lots of water and i have a rule if you can drink one liter of water one hour before meals so in the in the hour leading up to your meal you want to make sure that you're fully hydrated because again we often may mistake hunger for dehydration that this is a, this is the biggest thing, and believe me, if you are dehydrated, you're in trouble. You're you're done because they're gonna you're gonna get certain that food is gonna taste so good. You're gonna order another helping. You're gonna be in desserts. There's appies, beverages after, and boom! All of a sudden, your eating plan's out the window. Okay, so the next thing is is when it comes down. So that's before number three when it comes to ordering. So on a lot of times, we can't control these things. If you haven't had a chance to hydrate. When you go to the restaurant, make sure you have not just one, have two glasses of water before you start. And the reason why that is, is that's going to recalibrate you, sit there, maybe have a light appetizer or something like that, and see where you're at. But number three, when you're ordering, okay, when you decide what it is to order, make sure that you ask the waiter or waitress all about the foods that you're interested in. Find out if it has any... Um, weird dressings or sauces. These are where people kind of go sideways. These ones can really throw you off. There's, you, these are what I call the unknowns. I mean, if you order a salad or you order rice dish or you order a meat dish, you can pretty much know what's going on there, but the sauces can really mess you up. They can put all kinds of stuff in that. So this is the one that you want to find out about. Ideally, you want to go sauce free or you want to get something that is you know, in the range. So for example, if you're having a salad, olive oil and vinegar is a good start, right? If you're going with, you know, a steak, try and do it without, with minimal amount of stuff or beef or any of that, or chicken or whatever it happens to be. This is a big one. Number two, always, always start with a salad. Okay. Now, if you're like me, oftentimes before I go, a lot of places don't have plant-based protein sources. And I like to always have a combination of protein, carbs, and fats in every meal. But oftentimes I go to a, a restaurant and maybe out with friends, I don't have the option of choosing the, uh, choosing the restaurant. 
they have very few options. So I'll eat a protein shake before I go. And that keeps my blood sugar, remember our little blood sugar line, stable. If you go to a restaurant and you're in low blood sugar, you're going to have trouble. You're going you're gonna to eat too much. Okay? So beforehand, I'll do another protein shake. The other thing is I'll have a big salad, lots of fruit, uh, or lots of vegetables, berries, that sort of thing, before I move on to the main course. That's a big thing. The next thing I'm going to do is while I'm eating that salad, I am going to actually take a bite, put the utensil down after every bite. And of course, those who know me know that I love to talk. And if I do that, I often get in talking between bites and a whole salad could take me an hour and then everybody's done and then, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. So that's another thing. But there is, that's a strategy, you know, because I love eating and if I'm socializing, sometimes you can kind of just go away. So let's go to the next thing that I want to talk about here. And that is when you're ordering. So let's just wipe this out. And by the way, this is the way, this is what we found optimized for me. I like protein, carbs, and fats. Some people don't go that. Don't think that you have to be like Wade. This is about you. This is about following your routine. So if you're a, a, a more of a carb person or you're more of a fats person, just follow that diet and refer back to our site to how to optimize that. But when you're doing orders, learn how to special order. Here's something that's really, you know, burn this line into your head. And one thing I learned is it, it utilizes and it works just every time. You say to the, you say to the waiter or the waitress, say, hey, excuse me, but I have some food sensitivities. Just leave it at that. I have some food sensitivities. Remember that line. I have some food sensitivities and I'm looking to have something that's, you know, very like minimal dressings, this sort of stuff. And oftentimes what they'll do is they'll make you a special order. I can't tell you how many times I've been to a restaurant and I said, hey, I have some food sensitivities. Um, I follow a plant-based diet and I, I really have to be careful about what I mean. Is, would it be possible to get like a veggie and fruit plate? And they'll say, oh yeah, sure. And then the chef gets about it. And he, the chef is used to making the same thing all the time. Usually they're kind of excited to make something different. And I get this beautiful plate of fresh vegetables or sometimes steamed vegetables and fruits and all this sort of stuff. And then everybody at the table's like, wow, your meal looks amazing. And guess what? I kept my calories low. I kept my satiety high because I was eating lots of fiber, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, and all things. So my food satiety, satiety, remember that key word is when my brain says, okay, you've had enough to eat. When you eat a lot of bulk, that's what happens. And if you eat slowly, that's what happens. And if you're hydrated, that's what happens. So those things are really, really great uh, to remember. So again, you want to ask that question beforehand. And finally, for um, fast foods, okay, fast food restaurants. You know, and I avoid fast food restaurants, but I know that's not always the case. Um, what's really great is a lot of restaurants are changing now. Same process. Order the salad. Uh, a lot of fast food places now have a, you know, a low-fat version, or they have sugar-free versions of food. They also will have um, sometimes like, under so many calories, those sort of thing. But you do want to avoid the diet sodas and those things. Stay away from the sodas. Drink water. Or sometimes if they have a fresh juice, that's another way you can go. But oftentimes, most restaurants are using a chemicalized or a processed juice, and those aren't the things that you want. So very simple. Number one, pick your restaurant beforehand if you can. Number two, if you get hydrated beforehand, before you go to a restaurant, get you know filled up. Number three, ordering. Make sure that you can, you know, get your special orders. Remember, I have some food sensitivities. I need to know what's on there, or we could do some special orders, right? Maybe if you're ordering, let's say, omelets or eggs, you know, you can say, hey, I need no oil, no butter, just do it like this, or that sort of thing. Usually, they'll accommodate you. Always start with a salad and put your utensils down after every bite. This slows the process and gets you quicker to satiety where not only will you eat less, but you'll spend less too and still have an enjoyable time and be able to navigate those situations you know, that you can't get out of socially and not really have a problem and not really feel left out. So, And of course, before every meal, make sure you take your, your, your mastodons and probiotics. That'll ensure that you are fully digesting your meal and feeling great every single time. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll see you on the next one.